They're off from the Twinspires.com, Fairground Zokes, and Echo Zulu broke smooth. For Joao Rosario, there's Echo Zulu with Turner Loose and hit a connection. Strides up on the outside. Favor, Sequest in the black cap, and Berna Breezy has dropped back to last. They have seven for longs to run. And it's Echo Zulu. So the champion leads these three old fillies to the back of the track. Echo Zulu out in front, leads Turner Loose. With just over six furlongs to run from here, Echo Zulu, Turner Loose. With up the outside hitting connection as Favor looks to gain toward the inside, making his backstretch run. Sequest is running second to last, and Bernard Breezy trails the sextet, the leader Echo Zulu. The quarter was 23.79 seconds. Echo Zulu doing this easily out in front, tracked by Turner Loose. With Favor right there at Echo Zulu's heels, hitting connection, fourth on the outside. They have a half mile to run. Then it's Sequest, with six lengths off the lead. And the lead still remains Echo Zulu's as they enter the far turn. Bernard Breezy remains last. Half mile, 47.68 seconds. It's Echo Zulu, three quarters length. Turner Loose still looking to get up here to Echo Zulu with hidden connection on the outside, watching her bid. It's Echo Zulu, who leads for the quarter pole. Favor Sequest end, Bernard Breezy is last. It's Echo Zulu after three quarters and one minute 11. Point seventy seconds. Echo Zulu charging hit and connection. Favor toward the inside as Turner Loose has dropped back. There's one for long to go. It's Echo Zulu who leads against the inside for Joel Rosario. Hit and connection trying hard on the outside. Favors third. They're close to home. It's Echo Zulu. Hit and connection on the outside. Echo Zulu and hit and connection. Photo finish in the fairground zokes. A nose between Echo Zulu looking to remain undefeated and hit a connection, tested the champion all the way in the fairgrounds oaks. It was close, but the perfect record remains intact for Echo Zulu, a perfect five for five now. It certainly wasn't a convincing win, but it was a win, and it went pretty much the way that she's been winning her races, on the lead from the outset. If you, you watch her from the gate, she breaks well, she breaks clean, no excuses from there. Uh, and she's on the lead where she is normally accustomed to being. And you can see her ears are straight up. And so that means she's very relaxed. She's very comfortable. She's where she is comfortable being. And that's, that's how she set the race up, down the backside the same way. But typically, she'll draw out as she turns for home, Randy. And today, it was quite a struggle through the stretch. Yeah, Hidden Connection certainly made it close at the end. That's her bearing down on the outside there. Hidden Connection running back to the form of her first two races, like her trainer thought she probably would. Look, this is not as dynamic a win as we're accustomed to seeing from Echo Zulu, as Jerry pointed out. But it was her first race of the year. The fairgrounds is a pretty demanding racing surface. It's not one of these lightning, although it's fast today, it's not one of these California type lightning fast tracks with a long stretch, which also plays against a front runner sometimes. So bottom line, she won. If she's going to win the Kentucky Oaks, though, she's going to have to move forward from this, especially as the distance stretches out to a mile and an eighth, and she might. Yeah, and she might. Three-year-old Colts and Phillies typically get better as three if they develop, if they mature, just like, just like kids, just like athletes. She is still a very small filly. She was small last year. She looks to be very small still. So it's yet to be determined how much she has matured from two to three.